want to show you how to design a button for an iPhone application. Grab your shape tool, set it to the rounded rectangle, and set the radius to 5 pixels, and then just draw a shape. Now I'm setting that to a blue color, then we're going to jump into the layer styles by double clicking the layer. That's where all the magic is going to happen. So go to your gradient overlay and set both sides of your gradient. And I'm going to go a little bit lighter with this one. So there you go. We're going from a lighter blue to a darker blue, and that's a nice gradient. But let's say we want to add some gloss. So I need two more points here on my gradient. And let's brighten that one up and darken this one. So to create that gloss, we want a nice line to show up. And that's starting to get there. We need to brighten our top color a little bit so we get more of a curve to the button. And you basically just play with the values until you get it just about right. And we want the gloss to be fairly subtle. So that's good. Now put that at a 50% position and push the other one together to get a nice crisp line and hit OK. As you can see, that's there with some gloss on our button. Next, add a stroke. And this can just be one of your darker colors. And we're going to do just one pixel, but it's set to the outside. That's a basic button, but we need some more highlights. So we're going to come back in and add a drop shadow that's white coming two pixels down from the top and a zero pixel size and that adds that little highlight there. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. And then an inner shadow which we're going to set to overlay and white as well and this will be one pixel and a zero pixel size and just play around with that opacity until it gets just about right. Now switch to a text tool, click in the center, and then we'll add a label, in this case submit. We've got it set to Helvetica new, bold, and we want it white. Oops, there we go, white. And add a, double click to add a new layer style of a drop shadow. We're going to turn off global light, go minus 90 degrees, because we want to give it a recessed look. And once again, one pixel of distance and zero pixel size and just tone down that opacity a little bit and then we can nudge it around to center it in our document and there you go there's a good button